In this video, I'm going to show you the side spin serve, also known as the pendulum serve. It's a very popular serve used by a lot of players. Looks a little bit like this. Okay, why is it popular? I think it's popular because you can get a lot of spin on the serve, a lot of side spin, and that causes people trouble. But you can also do lots of variations with it. Okay, so you can do side spin with back spin. You can do side spin with top spin. You can serve it short. You can serve it long. You can serve it cross court. You can serve it in the middle. You can serve it down the line. Okay, lots of different variations with pretty much the same sort of serve. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to do the serve, how to get lots of spin, how to vary the spin, and how to use the serve to set up a third ball attack. So let's look at the serve. Okay, so first thing, when I'm serving, I've actually, if you can see, I've taken these three fingers off the handle. Um, and the reason I've done that before is it gives my wrist more flexibility. Okay, means I can whip the ball a little bit more. Okay, number two. When I was serving, I was standing sideways onto the table. Why would I do that for? I'm standing sideways on so that my, there's nothing restricting my arm swinging through. You could, you could kind of do, try to do the serve like here, but it's going to be tricky because your body's going to be in the way. So by standing sideways on, my body's not in the way and I can swing through the ball, okay? Number three, I'm standing in the backhand corner. Why would I do that for? So, I like to attack with my forehand. So I'm serving here. Then I can maximize the space, which then I can play the next shot with my forehand. So you should be able to see, when I serve this ball, as it bounces, the ball turns. Okay, that's the side spin. Now how do I create the side spin? It's all down to uh, my bat angle, okay? The contact point and the direction my arm is moving. So you can see my bat is kind of facing in this direction. I'm trying to keep it quite vertical. And as my bat moves in this direction, I'm able to contact the side of the ball. And that's what's going to generate the side spin. So that's the basic side spin serve, but how can you get more spin on the ball? Uh, well, first thing, you need to keep your wrist loose. If you keep your wrist loose, then you can whip the ball more. Okay, number two, um, you've got to brush the ball. It shouldn't be a hit, it needs to be a brush. So if you can brush the ball, again, that's what's going to generate the spin. Um, and if you can brush the ball with some racket speed, then you're going to be able to get lots and lots of spin on the serve. Let's give it a go. Okay. So, loose wrist, whipping action, brush the ball with some racket speed, lots of side spin. Okay, one of the really good things about the side spin serve is that it's really easy to do spin variations. So, if you want to do side spin but with some back spin as well, all you've got to do is change your bat angle from here, tilt it this way a little bit so that the contact point comes underneath the ball a little bit more. So you're still going to get the side spin but you're also going to get back spin as well. Okay. If you want to do it with some top spin, 
and you're going to keep your bat angle like this but on contact you're just going to brush up a little bit so you're still going to get the side spin but you're also going to get a bit of top spin as well okay now if your opponent doesn't read the spin variation you can get a cheap point as they miss the serve or they return it in a weak way which makes it easy for you to then attack the next ball at a beginner level you can actually often win a point straight from a side spin serve as your opponent simply may not know how to return it but as you start to play better people they will return the ball more often so you need to get ready to attack the third ball. A forehand side spin serve like this, it's very often returned to the backhand area, returned to over here. Um, this is for two reasons. Um, number one, if you serve cross court, um, people often just return the ball in the direction it came from. Okay, that's very common. Um, plus the side spin, the spin I'm putting on it, is making the ball want to kick back into this direction anyway, okay? So I know there's a very good chance that if I do my side spin serve cross court, that it's going to be returned to the backhand area. Now, it doesn't always work out this way, but most of the time it does. So this is what I'm in anticipating. I serve there, the ball is returned in this direction. As I know where the ball is likely to be returned, I can then start preparing for a third ball attack. So I have two options. I could attack with my backhand. Or I could attack with my forehand. There's no right or wrong way, it just depends on what you prefer to do. But the key thing is this, is that I'm anticipating that the ball's going to be returned in this area. Because I'm anticipating this, I can then prepare myself for the third ball attack. So that's the side spin serve, also known as the pendulum serve. If you don't use this serve at the moment, try to learn it. Really try to learn it. It's a really good serve, can be very, very effective. If you do use the serve already, see if you can try to get more spin on the serve or try to do more spin variations and see if you can follow up your serve with a strong third ball. Okay. Hope you found this video useful. For more table tennis tips, please visit my website www.tabletenniscoach.com tennis coach dot me dot uk